All right, so once again, we are talking about power models. And power models are where you're raising to the power of two or three. So it's going to look like this, where the base is the actual explanatory variable. Okay, now to, in order to linearize, you're going to have to take the log of x and the log of y and do it. So what's going to happen is your LSRL may look like this, but in actuality, it's going to be the log of y equals uh, a times the log of x plus bx. Now, what you're going to need to do is raise each side to the 10. And that's how you get rid of these logs right here. So we raise it to the power of 10. Okay. And so we just set it up. Now what happens is when you raise it, and this is going to be common log, so this is going to be the log base 10. So on this side we actually have just y hat equals uh, 10 to the power of a times log of x uh, plus b and that will be our actual way to actually get the LSRL formula for this. Okay, uh, so mainly you guys have to remember the trick is to change the data such that the data that it so it appears linear. Okay, so you have to be very careful in how you do this. So this is how you actually convert the LSRL to actually be the formula that you want. But other than that, I mean, just be careful to just know that you're taking the log of both sides and then list out that information to be able to see what it looks like literally. Okay, and this should improve your R squared. Okay, it should be close to one to help out. All right, thank you very much and have a great day.